my name is Femke and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I'm stood in front of my bookshelves because we're going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. It's been such a long time since I've done any reorganization on these bookshelves and it's also been a very long time since I made a bookshelves related video. So here it is. Um, one unfortunate thing <laughs> that is making this video difficult to film is the fact that one leg of my tripod broke a couple days ago so I don't have a tripod so I don't know how I'm going to properly show you but we'll make do so I'm sorry if the angles are not the best I'm just making do with what I have right now um, but this will be vlog style anyway so I think we'll be fine before I tell you about my plans I just wanted to show you how I have my bookshelves organized right now. As you can see, I've got two of these like floating cubes and then I got a bookshelf over there. So this is the first cube and this was the original, the OG bookshelf um, on which I had my first books. <laughs> Back in the day I had like two of these cubes filled and the others were different things because I didn't have a lot of books. Right now these hold all of my classics. So I've got my Wordsworth classics, Oxford and Penguin classics, some modern classics, vintage classics, and then my Ella Montgomery collection, which is honestly my pride and joy. And then this second cube holds my historical fiction and nonfiction over here, my Dutch books over here, and my William Shakespeare collection over here, because obviously I am an English literature student, so I need a complete works of William Shakespeare, like a pretty collector's item. And then, honestly, the one thing I hate most about my bookshelves right now is this little thing. Um, these are two, like, bike baskets, so to put on front of your bike, and we didn't need these anymore, so I claimed them to hold some books. But in the meantime, I've got books on top of them and this has no organization at all. These are literally the books I have most recently acquired and also the books that didn't fit anywhere else on the shelves. So these are horrible. I hate them being here. <laughs> but not to worry, I do have a plan for these books, like basically these books. Preferably, I would want to get rid of these baskets, like these bike baskets, and have like a real smaller bookshelf that fits here. But I'm not gonna do that because it works like this for now. So I'm just gonna wait until I see a bookshelf maybe at the thrift store that I really like and then maybe one day buy one or when it really starts bothering me or when I really cannot stack my books <laughs> on top of here anymore. Um, so we're not gonna bother with this bottom half because those are books that I don't really read anyways. They're more like collector's editions. Well, not really collector's editions, but like old editions and children's books anyway. So I don't really care about those. <laughs> now I do have a plan of attack for this. What I wanna do currently, all of my unread books are just on my shelves, but turned around. So I don't know if you can tell, but basically like these books, for example, and this one, they are turned around, which means that I haven't read them yet. And I really like this system because I can like visualize the books that I have and have not read, but I just feel like it doesn't work very well anymore. So what I want to do instead is I want to get rid of all of the unread books and pile them on top of this bookshelf as a kind of TBR pile kind of, like a TBR cart or like a TBR bookshelf, but then over there. I think I have about like 30 unread books, so they should fit over there. And it will be satisfying because then I can like work my way <laughs> into the TBR pile to make it smaller and smaller. And it will also be a way for me to be able to finally fit those books on my bookshelves, hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to start the organization by taking off all the unread books and compiling them on my bed and then seeing which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't want to keep because most of my unread books are the books that I have had on my shelves for years and years and years and there is just I have a really difficult time throwing away like obviously I'm not gonna throw them away but I have a really hard time unhauling books <laughs> So I don't like doing it, but I feel like there are some books on this shelf that don't spark joy anymore and I just want to get rid of them, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, let's get organizing.
And now I'm gonna do the same on this side. So many books are gonna disappear here. <laughs> Okay, these are all of my unread books. I'm going to go through them with you in a second. I don't honestly think there's too many books I want to get rid of. Just like maybe two. <laughs> but still, this is the pile. I was also not planning on getting all of the others. So these are the ones that I've read. And then this shelf is honestly looking fine. This one I've read, but it just didn't fit anymore. So just had to put it like that. I was not planning on getting out all of the books, but look at this dust. I don't know if you can see it, but you really can't see it, but it's dusty, believe me. So I am going to dust off these shelves, but first we'll have a look through this pile. Okay, let's tackle this. How am I gonna do it? I wanted to sit down, but there's really not that much space. This I'm keeping, this I'm keeping keep because I was gifted this one, got gifted this one, got gifted this one, <laughs> this one I got recently, well last year, so keep. This is one I might get rid of. I got it years ago. It's about the Highland Clearances. So it's about the Jacobite Rebellion and the aftermath of the Jacobite Rebellion. I just don't think I will be reading a book like this. Like it's non-fiction, but it just looks so... <laughs> boring and dense and I feel like I've researched this topic so I don't have to read a book about it anymore or at least not a book that kind of looks boring so this is kind of one that I'm debating these are all new books so I'm obviously keeping those this I'm keeping I'm keeping this this is such a funny story I got this from my aunt uh, a couple of years ago and I was so excited to read it until I realized that this is actually the last book I'm pretty sure or the second book in the Wolf Hall trilogy so I need to read the rest first obviously so I need to read Wolf Hall and bring up the bodies but I really do want to do that so it's just a reason for me to buy Wolf Hall soon I guess this one I'm keeping this one obviously this one, I cannot wait to read during the summer. I think I have to get rid of this. This is the Decameron, but it's just selections from the Decameron, so it's not the real thing. And I honestly, I started reading it. I think I read like a couple of the stories. Um, I read it, I started reading it in June of 2021. So three years ago, like almost three years ago, and I've never wanted to pick it up again. So I think I have to get rid of this realize that the Decameron is not for me and if I ever want to read it, I want to read the whole thing and not just selections, so. This one I'm keeping, this one I'm keeping, this one I'm definitely keeping, I love this one. Otello, I, I haven't read it, but I'm gonna keep it, obviously. And then this one I got recently, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this one, I really don't know. So this is Vanity Fair, but the thing is, do you look at this copy. It was only 50 cents, which is why I got it, but it's completely battered and it's a very long book. So to be reading, how many pages? 730 pages out of this battered copy. I just don't want to do it. So I do really want to read Vanity Fair, but not this copy. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. So that's three books, <laughs> three books down. That's a win. I never thought I would be unhauling books anyway, so three books, I consider this a win for me. But now all of these, I do want to keep, so I have to find a spot for them. There are actually quite a lot to put all of them over there. I don't know how that's gonna work out. But first, I'm going to dust off the shelves and reorganize. I think this one, I'm gonna start reorganizing this one because I think it will be mainly the same as it is looking right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go like cube by cube, get them off, dust the shelf, and then put them back in a way that I want. Lee, I forgot, I have some books by my bedside. This is a book I'm currently reading. 
this is one that I love to reread from. It's so silly, but it's like my favorite book. Um, this is my journal. This one I started, but haven't finished yet. Same with this one. This one, I don't know why it's here, should be on my shelf. It's actually one that I have to read still, so that belongs here. And then this is one that I've read 300 pages of and then stopped. If you've been here for a while, you know my journey with Jane Eyre is weird, but I want to reread it soon. So for now, I'm just going to add it to my TBR as well. This is the best I can do with the angle. I'm sorry. Okay, so the first bookshelf is done. I thought it was going to be easier. It wasn't, but let me show you what I got. This is what it looks like. It hasn't changed too much, just a little bit. I found one more unread book here, which is why the pile is a lot smaller. Other than that, it's basically the same. That one book that didn't fit does fit now. This, instead of having a book on top, is just like this for now. My Wordsworth classics, so satisfying. And then this shelf is one that I don't really know what to do with because I have like two hardbacks, some modern classics, and then some plays and vintage classics, and then some essays. Uh, well, two actually, so I don't really know, but it's good for now. And then I switched up my Ella Montgomery shelf. I don't know if I like it more than how it previously stood, but... I think it's cute to have the road to yesterday facing out for now and I love that I have this like purple theme going on on this side and then the two series over at that side. Now this is where the task becomes difficult because I have to somehow fit all of my TBR books on this little stand and I have to find a place for these books, which have never really had a proper place on my bookshelves. They've always been kind of the random books that I've collected over here, because let's take a look at the genres. As you can see, I have some fantasy over here. I have some like dark academia kind of books, some more fantasy. I've got literary fiction, I've got a mystery, like this is just all miscellaneous. I got my dad's book, June. This one isn't mine. Um, and then these are for uni, so I have to take them back to uni with me, so these don't really count. Um, so I want these to be on this shelf somehow. I do think I can have all of my history books, like historical, both fiction and non-fiction, in just this one little cupboard. Um, and then I can use this one for my Dutch books. And then use this one for all of this. However, I know that this is probably not gonna fit. It might if I put it like that, but I don't like the way it stands like that. But we're just gonna have to play around with it. And then we obviously have to find a way to make all of these fit on here. And I don't think that's gonna work. I have more TBR books than I thought I did. So I think maybe I'm gonna use this one because this has a lot of Dutch books too, and then some French books, and then randomly The Daily Jane Austen, which I can start reading now that I'm reading my last Jane Austen novel, and then two DVDs. These don't belong here at all. 
and then these have like my children's books so I wanted to keep that that way but with this I don't know these are also just decorative we'll see I'm gonna try some things I just reorganized these two real quick I don't love them at all I think this one is just awful but I don't know how else to do it so it's just gonna have to be like this for a while and then this one I'm honestly fine with. It's just my Dutch books and then some translated fiction there. I think that's okay. And now this mess. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get all of these in here, but I'm gonna try to do it anyways, because I do like my Shakespeare over there. But if that doesn't work out, maybe I can put that one on my desk or somewhere else. I've also made an absolute mess in the meantime. That's okay, you know, that's okay. I'm gonna put on music for this one because it's gonna need a lot of brain power. Can you see all of that dust that got on my phone from wiping the bookshelves? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Good news is, it fits. Bad news, I don't like it. <laughs> this is what the shelf looks like. Honestly, this doesn't even bother me that much. I feel like it's fine. I'm sorry for the reflection on the Shadow and Bone books. I still hate this. I have to reorganize this because there's no way it's staying like that. Okay, let's try this in a different way. Oh, that's actually a good angle. Maybe I should film my videos like this. <laughs> I don't love it, but it's better. It's just so chaotic. I want real bookshelves and not just the cubes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. No, you gotta do with what you have, whatever, <laughs> whatever the saying is. Now let's fix this mess. This is actually embarrassing. All of these books and they should go in there. I really don't know how that is gonna work. Okay, let's make a couple of files. Maybe I could do classics together because obviously um, I'm also going to put all of my non-English books together because that also makes sense and then maybe the historical ones I don't have a lot but I mean I don't have a lot of unread ones it's just this works yeah I like that I really don't hate that it looks better than the previous big pile okay and now we have to fix this and get all of these books in somehow that's not gonna work <laughs> I need to get rid of all of the books here I present the end result this is it so this is what we had established before these are basically all the classics and then some other books that could be considered classics, I guess. <laughs> and then this one goes from my Dutch collection into my historical collection. And I do like how that looks. I'm gonna have to get, oh, <laughs> my foot. I'm gonna have to get rid of this. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of it, but I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna put these away for now and not have them anywhere else in my room. I don't love them on my bookshelf because they're not like, books I'll read like they're more decor so they don't fit on the bookshelf anyways and now it's nice because this is children's and then this is TBR makes more sense in my opinion I also found some more books to get rid of so 
I'm completely red because I've just exhausted myself from doing this. This is the result of the books. I've shown you most of it. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. It still doesn't look great. I'm honestly patiently waiting for the day. I have a room in which I can like have actual bookshelves, <laughs> like just the basic bookshelves and not these things because they don't work. <laughs> They don't work for me. I have too many books, but it's honestly fine for now. Um, at least I have a space for all of my books. I have eight books to unhaul, which I think is good. I didn't think I would have eight books to get rid of. I think I'm gonna go buy some free little libraries. We don't have a lot of them, but my town recently acquired one and then I know of another town that has one. So I'm just gonna do some little library hopping, I guess. Um, they're not worth trying to sell, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna drop them there, maybe take other books, maybe not, we'll see. And then I have also counted that I have 28 unread books, which I think is fine. I really think that's fine, that's not too bad. Um, but this is the end of the video, it was very chaotic. Um, but that's, that's how book organizations go. I'm always looking forward to it and excited and they never turn out exactly how I want them to be, but I think they're fine. I'll give you a closer look for the last time. This is where all of the classics go. We still have my Wordsworths and then my Oxford and Bingwing classics, the Ella Montgomery books, and then the more modern classics. And then this is the other shelf where we have my historical novels, Dutch novels, and then literally everything else here and then the TBR. So I'm very glad with the way that turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye.